So we were really excited. We adopted SAFE last year. Um, we're a very high-tech company building software for medical device companies, pharmaceutical companies, etc. And then this SAFE methodology came in and we had to go back to stickies, post-its, and whiteboards. Uh, I was a little bit skeptical and then I saw the magic of the whiteboard. The magic of the whiteboard is what I call, it attracted the, the entire team to circle around the whiteboard, uh, but then it left us with a bunch of stickies. So, at the end of a PI planning process, how do we go about taking those stickies and putting them into the system? Very laborious, uh, air prone, um, you couldn't easily come up with the data, etc. But I loved the gathering capability or what the magnetic kind of stuff that was happening off of the whiteboard. So the vision we had was we've got version one, how do we incorporate that? We don't want to do the paper. Let's try using version one and use touch screens. In the past when we did planning the teams would scatter a lot and it was hard to keep them together and then but because I think they've been using these digital digital boards and they've been touching them and they know how to use the tool they felt really comfortable with it and so I, they, I noticed they stayed put they, they had less of a desire to leave and um, more of the team was engaged. The better benefit was at the end of the day Evan could run our RTE could run all of the stats immediately. It's great when your boss comes over to you and says hey and he thinks this is going to be something hard can you you know can you pull up the swim lanes or the allocation lanes uh, in, in the PI and tell me where we're where we're sitting you know and two clicks later you have it up on on the screens. Being able to evaluate what the point value was across the board to make sure that we're hitting our velocities was extremely valuable. That was something we haven't had in the past. We've um, taken things off of the board, tried to calculate them up into spreadsheets and, and circulate those spreadsheets around we would spend probably two to three hours after the PI planning just to make sure that that was accurate, double check everything. And this time, it was instantaneous. During our planning, um, having the digital tool around, I could, I could see the numbers come in. And that, that was very useful to see that as, a, as an RTE, um, seeing, seeing things come in and seeing where teams were uh, really helped. It gave everybody the capability to view the progress of the PI planning as it went through. Uh, specifically, one of the things that was very nice was to allow program to understand how many items we were able to bring in to the PI the very first day. So as we were planning and preparing for the second day, they could go back and reevaluate what the priorities were, if we needed to bring additional items in, and to see if we were getting the right issues in there. To be able to pass things back and forth and outline dependencies was amazing. It's something that's been really hard in the past. We've done it on boards with a yarn, tying post-it notes together, which we would then take pictures of and try to translate into a digital board later. Now it was just right there as we identified those dependencies, we could go to the view and we could see what was dependent on what throughout the entire process. In the past, we were basically creating a bunch of work debt in these PI planning meetings. So we'd spend two days doing all these notes, diagramming, moving post-its around, doing the dependencies. And, and what would happen is, is the end is you have to get that translated into an electronic system. The post-it notes don't persist, they're not searchable, um, you know, they're not shareable necessarily, you can't view your story at home you know, remote teams can't view them, so so at some point it has to be converted to an electronics mean, means. And what I found is a, a lot of times things get lost in translation. I, as a Scrum Master from previous PIs, what I've experienced is that I have to take or I have to be able to interpret or I have to go back to the team to be able to interpret what was meant by that specific note and be able to enter that into version one. Sometimes I even experienced the fact that what I entered into version one wasn't necessarily what was intended, so it would have to modify that specific story or even that specific feature. What I found um, using version one is we were able to pre-plan and get our features set up in master control. We were able to do some work and fleshing out stories and even doing some story pointing ahead of time so that when we walked into the planning sessions, we had a lot more data available to us right up front. Um, 
Version 1 makes it really easy to modify priorities and then modify details at any level. Um, so th that was really helpful as we got the teams together. Um, we were able to quickly reprioritize the work based on the latest needs of the business and then flesh out um, stories that weren't estimated or needed to be re-estimated based on new information and then slot them into um, the sprints very quickly just as a, a first cut. And then from there um, we were able to do some refinements based on people's availability during the sprints. We had history of velocity over the last couple PIs. So we saw the trends of, of how much uh, work each team could be doing. So the, so the process was very smooth. You know, in general, I find that version one is very easy to use. It's very easy to edit things and to move things around. And so it's just a very, very uh, flexible tool to use. And when we were done, we had views at a program level, at a portfolio level, at the sprint level, and we can slice it and dice it in a lot of different ways, depending on what your audience is.